Hey friends, welcome. How many of you have used a $20 bill? I have, you probably have. Andrew Jackson is on the front of this $20 bill. Has been for a very long time. Probably since the $20 bill came around. Well, this is some property he owned. That's where he lived. Let's go check it out. The Statesman, the People's President, Andrew Jackson. Call it the Hermitage. It's kind of a funny name, huh? The hero, they say. The legend. General and President. Andrew Jackson. The Hermitage does not allow video recording on any part of their property but they do allow photography. So I took a whole bunch of photos to give you a good depiction of what life might have been like here on Andrew Jackson's property. I have the last tour of the day at 3.50, so I decided to wait here for a little bit on this very nice little bench right in front. I got a little bored sitting here, so I decided to walk around and check out the property. It's a beautiful, front lawn. This is what you look at right out the front door. From the back of the property, the house is just very impressive. Most of these columns are original to the home. Two have been replaced over the years. One thing I noticed right away was this doorknob looking thing on the side of the door, which turns out to be a really old school doorbell. I also took notice to some of these photos that were laminated and sitting on the front porch. Turns out this is the only view of any of the inside of the property you will get to see. They put these photos out there so people like me can take photos of them and share them with your friends. This was President Jackson's office. A lot of famous people graced the doorways of this room. A few things I noticed about the house are that the wallpaper it's mostly original. A lot of the house is original to exactly the way it was when Andrew was living here with his family. Something else interesting is that he was a very tall man with tiny feet, size seven. And the beds were really small. For him being a tall man, I don't think he would have fit in any of those beds. The only room I can show you with my own camera is the dining room because the doorway was right off the front porch. It was very blue. The house tour was great. Now it's time to check out the property. The rest of the tour is self-guided, so I just wandered around. I found some cool things like this well, this dinner bell. It was interesting wandering around, but the coolest thing about this property is the original buildings that were here before this giant house was built. Andrew Jackson bought this property from his neighbor in 1804. The small cabin that Andrew Jackson and his wife lived in for 17 years was this tiny thing on the left with the chimney. In this cabin is where Jackson lived when he led the American troops against the British in the Battle of New Orleans on January 8th of 1815. The new mansion wasn't complete until 1821 then the family moved out and into the new hermitage. Andrew was a pretty tall guy. He was taller than me. I wonder how many times he smashed his head on this rafter. They do a great job of showing you how these buildings were constructed and explaining the history of these buildings, much of which has been written by the slaves that lived on the property along with the Jackson family and the families that lived here before them. Uh, too late for the gift shop. Well, friends, it was a little disappointing not to be able to record video or take pictures inside the mansion, but I had a good time in there anyway, and I learned a lot of stuff. We had a great tour guide. And at the end, there's a little winery attached to it. You can try some wines out. It comes with your ticket. So it was a great time anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Did what I can. I'm going by memory with all of these things that I'm going to be that I'm talking about in this 
with the photos and whatever I could take. You'll have to take my word for it that the inside of the mansion was really rad. There's some very well-preserved things in there, like their beds and some size seven and a half slipper that a seven or a six foot two man wore. Six foot two or six foot four? Anyway, he was tall and he wore a size seven and a half and he was only 140 pounds. Andrew Jackson. Well, thanks for watching today, friends. I appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and you won't miss out on any of these adventures ever again. I'll see you soon, friends, in the next video. Bye.